Why yoga? Is it really that amazing? Is it really as great as people say it is? If you've never tried yoga, then you might be wondering what all the hype is about. When I was going through my depression, yoga was my lifeline to keep me connected to the rest of the world. The days that I felt like I couldn't breathe, my yoga practice was so important. I was someone who had done yoga before, I had a regular exercise routine, I got a blood clot and was told I couldn't do anything. After about two or three weeks, my doctor said, if you wanna to go to yoga, you can do that. And that for me was just a godsend because my inability to sleep and concentrate all felt better when I was doing my regular yoga practice. So what are the reasons for that? Why is it that it works so well for clients? And why is it that we're doing it on the retreat to Costa Rica? Well, there's a lot of reasons why. Um, and I, I wrote a few down because there's so many good reasons to do yoga if you haven't done it before. It increases your happiness. It increases your healthy um, choices that you make. So you actually feel more inclined to make healthy choices for your body. So you eat healthier, you tend to not want to have as much stress around you, so you're a little bit better at, at boundaries with you. Um, it lowers your blood sugar, um, increases focus and relaxation. Who doesn't need that when they are working on you know, healing and stressful environments? I mean, we are dealing with stress every single day. Even if things are great in your personal life, work and the world around us can really become really overwhelming. Increases the ability to have deeper sleep and lowers the stress and tension. It increases self-esteem and inner strength, which is what we focus on teaching while we're working with our clients. That low self-esteem is what keeps us trapped in those toxic relationships. Those poor boundaries keep us trapped because we're afraid of hurting somebody else's feelings. But when we're doing a regular yoga routine, that actually helps us stay focused on ourselves and makes us realize that we don't have to make everybody else happy. We can really focus on ourselves and go with the flow of life without trying to change anybody else because it's not our job to change them. It's our job to work on us. It actually eases pain in general. And one of the reasons why we stay trapped in these toxic relationships is because we're afraid of the pain of change. So realizing when you're in a pose that it is uncomfortable, but it's this too shall pass, that actually helps us stay focused. Increases connection with self-awareness and boosts transformation abilities. Um, it increases strength and flexibility. Increases heart health, which we need. Um, it also helps with muscle strength and boosts immunity. So lower blood pressure, better immune system, better bone health. I mean, all of these great side effects of doing a yoga, a regular yoga practice. So if you haven't started yet, please do. If you're looking for more support in starting your yoga practice, more support in your healing journey, feel free to reach out to us. We are here to support you through our coaching and our Reiki and Psyche K that my husband David offers, whatever we can do to be a part of your journey. While also in Costa Rica, we will be doing yoga every single day. So please feel free to reach out, start that practice, work on yourself. Remember that your self-care should be your number one priority.